In Flanders Fields is perhaps one of the best known poems in the world, but tonight, a rarely told story about how it came to be published. Tom Murphy sat down with a relative of a nurse stationed with John McRae, one of the first people to hear his now famous phrasers. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow. Those words. Between the crosses, row on row. So familiar. And in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly. Penned by John McRae, Canadian soldier and surgeon on the battlefields of France during the First World War. Iconic for so many. Personal for Cameron Anderson. The larks still bravely singing fly. You see, his great aunt Clara Gass was a nurse stationed with McRae. The story, as told through her personal diary, goes like this. McRae had been jotting down some lines and asked Gass if she'd give them a read. He handed her the poem and, and uh, looking for her opinion on it and, and said, you know, what do you think of this? One of the first to hear the poem, almost certainly the first to transcribe it, she wrote it down in her diary, Gass told McRae it was marvelous, urged him to get it published in the troop magazine Punch. And he did, and um, it ended up being published, and then the story sort of flows from there. Would the now much lauded poem have ever seen the light of day without Clara Gass? Who knows? Clearly, she felt it put the war in context, something she tried to do as well by taking photos and, yes, writing in her diary of her ordeals, even though that was forbidden for fear the information might end up in enemy hands. She's helped document those dark days in the field hospital where she shared the horror of the battlefield with John McRae and with patients, including one who saw his friend decapitated. And she's doing what she can to listen to him tell the story as they're both weeping, and then she gives him a sleeping pill to help him sleep. My kids will read this diary one day, and they'll know that their great-great-aunt um, did what she did. Clara Gass's diary was eventually donated to McGill University. It has since been published. She lost her brother Blanchard in the war, her boyfriend Lori too. She never spoke much about that chapter of her life, but her diary, what a story it tells. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.